Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to show you how I was able to solo Shadowfang Keep in Season of Discovery. I have a goal of clearing as much content solo as possible, and boy was this an interesting one. There are a few things I want to go over before diving into this run. This dungeon has a lot of challenges for mages. The final boss, Argyle, has a tricky mind control that you have to dance around. There are magic immune mobs, mana draining mobs, silencing mobs. It's a pain. Here are my talents. Pretty standard as far as arcane talents go. Standard runes as well, swapping between living bomb and arcane blast depending on what I'm fighting. Here are some tips and tricks. You can skip the magic immune mobs by using this reset point here. Razor Claw has a mana burn. Be mindful of it and kill him before you oom. Um. Pulling a few extra adds with him helps so you can cleave living bomb onto him. Some of the mobs in here hit really hard, so you can kite them down in Baron's room and use this table over here. Just hop up and down, kiting with Living Bomb. I recommend taking Ice Armor off during this. It will help keep the mobs stacked. Stand on the right side of the table as well. The mobs can hit you if you are near the middle. Wolfmaster is easy. Just kill his ass at the bottom of this ramp. He will then reset down to the spot, so back away from it, and this will give you time to get mana before you fight him. Kite around this circle with Frost Nova, and using Living Flame to nuke him down. He will begin spawning mobs throughout the fight, so don't waste too much time kiting him. Kill him before you are overwhelmed. Our goal is pretty simple once you figure him out. He has a mind control that he will cast regardless of whether you are in line of sight or not. It happens every time he yells. It seems to be on roughly a 20 to 25 second timer. As long as you aren't in line of sight when he casts it, you will not get mind controlled. Try and keep him stationary as much as possible by forcing him to cast. When you know the mind control timer is up, try and not peek if possible. Once you have that down, easy kill. Up next is a montage of my clear of Shadowfang Keep. I have tried soloing Wailing Caverns a few times. For the most part, it's pretty easy, but the final boss is too hard for me to kill. I've tried kiting with World Buff, and I've tried face tanking him, and he just two shots me. Because of him, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a Wailing Caverns clear. I also want to try and solo the first boss of Black Fathom Depths, but I'm not quite ready to waste a lockout on that yet. Let me know if there's any interesting solo content you want me to try. Big shout out to all the new subscribers, I just hit 1000 which is awesome. If you haven't yet, like, subscribe, and enjoy the video.